Hello beautiful, so hope you're doing very fine. So today I'm going to take you through a short process on uh, how to do <coughs> knotless braids. Uh, a short brief history of knotless braids, they came after the traditional braid, braiding method, which often started with a knot at the base, leading to less tension and pulling on the scalp. Knotless braids are popular protective hairstyle where braiding starts with your natural hair and then gradually adds hair extensions. Eh? Uh, benefits of this um, this hairstyle, uh, this knotless braid is less tension because they start with your natural hair. They put less stress on your scalp, reducing the risk of traction, alopecia. look the gradual addition of crustacean of braids creates a seamless tra transition that looks more natural as you can see they have started i've started with a little hair and then in between i've added some small braid then leading to adding more of a uh, more braid eh? like i've added like seven braids on it so that it can become a little bit bigger as you can see there from the bottom i've started with her hair i've applied sedoso braiding gel then about this hairstyle, benefits of this hairstyle is versatility. Knotless braids, <coughs> sorry, knotless braids can be styled in various ways, such as ponytails, bands, updos. Uh, it can be also. Uh, what can I say? You can even leave it like that, even without holding it. Uh, it stays for long. Another benefit of this hairstyle is that it stays from for long. It has a proper care, they can last several weeks. Most probably when I've, the customers, the clients that have done them, they have probably stayed with this hairstyle for like two months. They are very neat. I, I love it because they are very neat as you can see. What what brings this neatness is the doso braiding gel. I always tell people said doso braiding gel is the best because it brings out the cleanness of the hair. When you apply some little amount on the hair, you'll see it. This one is short hair. Short hair I've done it on. I've done short hair on this uh, client of mine. And they have come out very beautiful and very neat. So sometimes a dose of braiding gel can misbehave on uh, hard hair. As you continue watching on my video, you can see that uh, I'm starting and I'm not removing my fingertips closer to the closer. I'm not removing my fingertips away from the scalp. I'm making sure so that I can have a firm touch. Then I start with little hair adding on the sides. Leave, not adding on the middle one this stood. but you can also add in the middle one but in the other video i'll let you show you how to add it in the middle one as i said before i'm overhanded as you can see i'm adding it over on top of the hair you see on top then i'm making it look firm and tighter so that it can bring out the knotless braid it can bring out the feed in process i'm feeding in braid in on top of the hair so that it can come out like knotless. Ah, I love my beautiful work. Uh, what about this is that it offers a low maintenance op op option. Eh? The process of creating a knotless braid involves sectioning the hair, starting the braid with your natural hair, and slowly feeding in small amounts of extension hair as you braid down the length. This method can take longer. For me, it doesn't take longer. For some people it will take longer, for some people it won't take longer. So when it takes longer to install the traditional box spread, but it also often far from the comfort and natural appearance of provides, you know. Uh, this hairstyle is very, I love it. I really love it. It just brings us the natural appearance. <coughs> but it brings a natural appearance. It looks just natural. Is healthy for the scalp because it creates less attention on the scalp, reduces the risk of hair breakage and scalp discomfort. You know, uh, when finishing and completed through the desired length, and ends are usually sealed using hot water or other methods. For me, most of my clients use hot water. You can also blend in with a different color as I blended. As you can see, I blended it with a different color number 230. I blended 
number black with a different brownish color. Uh, this hair cell has had a lot of popularity due to the protective nature and the fact that they are less painful and more flexible compared to the traditional braiding method. Yeah, I really find it very, 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 very flexible. It does. It is not bulky in such a way that it doesn't disturb. You can feel like it is just your hair that is on the top of you. Even when you're styling it, you don't feel the heaviness. So, continuing during the video and keep in touch, please. Please don't forget to subscribe. Help me reach to 500 subscribers so that I may be able to be to upload more videos to get motivated please comment on the section about whatever style you want me to take you through but mostly i do natural hairs <coughs> i teach how to do natural hairs for beginners so that they can be able to learn how to do natural hairs it will be easier for them to learn huh? so for me mostly i focus on natural hairs on how to do natural hair simple hairstyles simple hairdos, updos, that's what I do. So feel free to ask what hairstyle you want me to take you through and I'll be able to do it in the next video. In the next videos, I'll be able to do it. If I'm not, I'm unable to do it, I'll let you know on the section bar if I'm unable to do it. But please kindly don't forget to subscribe. And if you're returning and you have already subscribed, thank you for subscribing and may you be blessed beyond your borders. Good day. Have a beautiful day as you continue enjoying the video.